Welcome to Precision Engines instructional video on how to adjust valves on a Pratt & Whitney R2800 CA3 radial engine. My name is Jim Lewis. I'm the production manager for Precision Engines and I'll be your instructor. Let's say we change the cylinder and we want to set the valves. What we first need to do is bring the piston up the top dead center on the compression stroke. To establish a compression stroke there are various methods. One, a compression gauge. Two, a fabricated whistle or three, your thumb on the spark prod boss. Preferred method of precision engines is to apply a fabricated whistle into the spark plug boss and rotate the prop until you hear the whistle. Remove the whistle, apply the screwdriver touching the piston and also slightly bring the screwdriver to the top dead center of rotation. Now you've established this, now you're ready to set your valves. By applying the depressor onto the exhaust side of the cylinder, make sure that the lip of the depressor is underneath the rocker arm. Adjust the adjusting screw and apply 20 inch pounds of torque to the screw. This will allow the stick to move against the tappet roller and the cam, depressing the cam against the bearing. Once the depressor is applied on the exhaust side with 20 inch pounds of torque, you then can take the indicator, apply the indicator button on the top of the adjusting screw with the rocker arm flush up against the valve. Zero out the indicator, and by doing so, then take your wrench and slightly move the rocker arm up until you get the desired valve setting. In this case would be 35, the intake side. Once you've adjusted your rocker arm on your intake side to 35 thousandths, you can remove and repeat the process on the exhaust side of the cylinder. Then again, make sure that the lip of the presser is underneath the rocker arm and you're applying 20 inches of torque. Again, make sure your rocker arm is flush up against the valve. Zero out the indicator. And on the exhaust side, you're setting your valve to 55 thousandths. Go underneath the rocker arm and slightly move the rocker arm till it bottoms out against the pushrod stick, which in this case, you're right at 55, which is adequate setting. Precision Engines advises after overhaul to readjust your valves after 50 hours of operation. Improper valve clearance can result in the premature cam failure and also valve 